Hey everyone, welcome back to my uh, Halloween edition reviews. Uh, I think I'm going to spend some time uh, recording at night and uploading at around, well it's now 1.20 a.m. so happy October 2nd. Uh, the first day of October was murder because I had to watch this. Um, pretty much, uh, it's like, a, a cross between the devil inside, uh, because there's a little, uh, thing about just it being boring, yeah. <laughs> I found that movie to be very, very boring. Not a fan of found footage films, but pretty much what this is about, uh, a young girl by the name of, I think, Sarah? ends up having a party over at uh her house and none of none of the people are really her friends so you're like uh is this going to be like a nerd coming back for revenge or something like that because i like i like those movies I, hell i like scarecrow so you already know my taste in movies but this one just didn't cut it for me. I didn't like it. I thought it was boring. And like uh, the movie that I reviewed before, uh, I Didn't Come Here to Die, I think this movie stole shit from that because all the people are dying from accidents. Uh, like there's one uh, chick fights about to happen and the, the nice looking girl has a pretty much just a regular plain old knife like Michael Myers. Try stabbing at a supposedly her friend. Um, and to be honest, uh, I didn't like any of the actors in this either. Um, one of the actors that actually produced the film. Nothing against you uh, who made the film like... It wasn't my cup of tea. Like, if if other people like it, cool. Have your own opinion. And share it. Because you might find some people with the same opinion. But, the deaths in this are pretty mediocre as well. Because you've got a person who gets stabbed. A person who gets their throat cut. A person who falls down the stairs. Like, the deaths are just very, very boring. And, uh, I guess I could say I liked the main girl, Sarah, but that's not saying much. And I am going to spoil this. Uh, what happens uh, at the end, uh, everybody is pretty much dead except for Sarah. And you end up finding out all of this was in her mind. She's been in the hospital for five years. And uh, she was looking at a prom magazine at the beginning of the film. And she imagines pretty much all the, all the people that were in the prom picture uh, were at her party. Uh, and they, they were like real people to her. And that to me just says... You know what, viewer? You got fucked. So, I just felt fucked and I didn't enjoy the fuck one little bit. So, anyways, uh, I'll probably give this to somebody too. Uh, but I've got three more uh, bad movie reviews uh, to do, then I'll get to the good ones. Uh, if you want to see the film, that's cool. But I couldn't really remember any of these people's names other than Sarah. And that's pretty sad when you don't know the names of the characters in the movie. And you just watched it. I literally just watched this a couple hours ago. And I couldn't remember a single uh, person's name except for Sarah. So, boo. I'll give this to somebody, although I already have that somebody in mind. Uh, hopefully he likes the movie. 
uh, he probably won't, but if he does, cool. Uh, but I don't think he's gonna enjoy this film, uh, but, uh, he, his reviews are definitely kick-ass, and I love his rants. For those, uh, who watch my channel, you probably already know who I'm talking about. Anyways, the gist of this story, pretty much, here's the ending. She's been in the hospital for five fucking years, but yet she had a dream like that. And at the beginning of the film, it doesn't even show her in the hospital. It shows her just laying on the bed, uh, kind of pouting a little bit. And it, they want to make you feel sorry for the girl. In a, in a way, I did. But the ending just really, it felt out of place. And you're like, oh, so she imagined all of this. Get the fuck out of here, man. Um, I guess the whole point of the story is it's good to have an imagination sometimes. But who the fuck would have an imagination like this? But, regardless, take a look at the film if you want to. Um, I'm going to pull up IMDB again like I did yesterday. Um... IMDB Internet Movie Database and I got my laptop fixed up too so all the viruses are gone in it so that's good my internet is running better now Okay, gotta wait for the page to load. Okay, the evil inside. There's two here. I'll just click on the first one. Hopefully this gives me the right information. Okay, yep, here it is. The evil inside gets a 3.5. Jeez, 3.5 on a movie like this? That's too high, really it is. But, regardless, I am going to give this film not even a half a star, so I might as well come right out and say it. I'll give this zero stars, aka the way I always do it. Uh, I give it zero out of ten hatchets. You're finally seeing me review movies that I don't like. So that might be surprising to some people. Then again, it might not. Whoever watches my channel knows what kind of movies I like. But this one should belong in the dumpster. Should, should belong in hell even. It should be burning and rotting away. So take it for what it is. I took it for what it was and it still sucked. So, 3.5, uh, just can't get that out of my head, but 0 out of 10 hatchets. I didn't like the movie, I didn't think the characters were at all appealing. Like, if people want to complain about the hatchet movies and not having uh, good characters, they need to see this movie. This movie didn't have any good characters whatsoever, at least in... Hatchet, uh, you had a Mary Beth, played by uh, Danielle Harris in 2 and 3. Um, she she was a relatable character. I liked her. I, I felt she was a strong heroine of the story. Uh, but she didn't do much in Hatchet 3 or Hatchet 1 
um, who that was played by someone else. Um, but regardless, all the Hatchet movies I thought were great. They're way better than this piece of shit. So anyways, I'm out. Uh, sorry for the people who liked the film. If if you liked it, that's cool, but you won't be able to change my mind over the matter. Anyways, stay tuned for... Gotta get it. Uh, I'll be reviewing this uh, probably in the good movie pile. Uh, yeah, I like the Evil Dead remake so soon. Okay, what's next is Night of the Living Dead Resurrection. I love the Night of the Living Dead movie. I loved the remake that they made in 1990. The 3D one, eh, it could have been better, but it, it was an alright uh, tribute to Night of the Living Dead. So anyways, stay tuned for Night of the Living Dead Resurrection, or as I call it, I've only seen a couple minutes of it, I call it the Night of the, Night of the Living Dead Curse of My Erection. I, I didn't like what I saw so far, but I will finish the movie regardless. Uh, I'm going to pop it in later on today. So anyways, peace out. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Uh, blah 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 yada 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 with all the YouTube junk uh, and play it safe when it comes to horror movies like I happen to like some bad ones but there's there are reasons why I liked it uh, if you don't uh, really know what I'm saying you can go back to my previous uh, Halloween edition uh, reviews because I did a couple on movies that not a whole lot of people like, like Demonic Toys, classic, I thought it was a classic, um, now Puppet Master vs. Demonic Toys, that's on a new scale of fuck, uh, like Matt says, uh, it gets an F on an F scale of fuck, so, yeah, I'm with, I'm with anybody who doesn't, uh, like those films, uh, I'm with the people who do like the films. But, anyways, uh, there's not much more I can say about this movie. Uh, just about... It has to do with a party. Like most teen, teeny bopper uh, horror movies do. It's got some mean assholes in it. Like most uh, teenage horror movies. And... It's got a really generic plot, which, not like most uh, teen slashes, because, hell, I like Scream 1, 2, and 3. Uh, but, anyways, I'm done talking about this film. It made me feel like each one of my brain cells was going dead. I feel like half my brain cells committed suicide trying to figure out this movie. So peace, hopefully you all enjoyed the video, and good luck.